Today, I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite GPT-3 demos. It demonstrates the incredible creativity, commercial appeal, and honestly fun of GPT-3. I'd like you to think about the last time you heard about a new product or record-breaking performance for a stock. How did this news come about? Well, journalists certainly don't have the time to call up every company in the world and ask what they might announce every day. Instead, companies pitch them. One way to pitch a journalist is through a press release. A press release allows a company to make an official statement about a topic which is designed for distribution to the media. This includes product announcements, leadership changes, and financial performance. Early last July, I was playing around with GPT-3 and wondered if I could get it to write a whole press release just with a headline. Keep in mind, a press release is at least a few paragraphs long, which does require some coherency. So I started experimenting. Today, I'll be sharing what I found out. I started by looking for an example of a press release to give to GPT-3. So I found a random press release from PR Newswire. Sony, it appeared, had been working on a new kind of 4K projector. I now had my example headline with its example press release output. And so, I had my example. Next, I was ready to generate some press releases. I gave it the ridiculous headline of Tesla unveils Project Morpheus flying car capable of reaching fighter jet level speeds. This was the headline. And shockingly, this is the response output or press release GPT-3 gave back to me immediately. In a surprising announcement at the E3 convention in Los Angeles today, tech billionaire Elon Musk unveiled what he called Project Morpheus. Hovering at a landing spot above the convention center, Musk discussed the newest endeavor of his company, Tesla Motors. It's finally here, a glimpse into the future that we've all dreamed of, and for many, feared. Project Morpheus is a flying vehicle in which occupants can soar through the sky with amazing speed, efficiency, and maneuverability. With the recent F-35 failure and subsequent grounding, it's clear that airbase travel has come to a standstill. Soon, that will all change with Project Morpheus. That's the future I envision, where cars will no longer be a necessity of transportation, where air travel will finally be as safe and as easy as riding a bike or driving your car today. The past 30 years has brought about many new changes to the world, new technologies that have either enhanced our lives or have proven to be disruptive to our everyday practices. Now, we are taking the world to a whole new level of excitement, an entire new dimension. With Project Morpheus, we will be able to see the world in a completely new way. The press release goes on in more detail. This is awesome, but really long. I'll include the full press releases if you're interested below in the description so you can evaluate it and perhaps share in the comments what you thought about the press release, whether it comes to creativity or coherency. Next, I was curious how it would perform with someone else. So I picked Kanye West. I give it the headline, Kanye West unveils new music-based VR social network. And this is the response it gave back to me. In the first major project of its kind, Kanye West's newly announced music-based VR social network is utilizing 5K HDR projectors in the venue. As a pioneer in the space, Kanye West's album release is one of the first major events to leverage Sony's cutting-edge SXRD-based immersive technology for this exciting new medium. Uh, it goes on to say that the social network offers 360 degrees of high-resolution sound and real-time video feed with ultra-low latency of less than 10 milliseconds. Kanye West is not only a visionary artist and a musical genius, but also a leading proponent of immersive technology, said the technology's creator. We work tirelessly with him and his team to create a platform that would break all boundaries, and we are confident it will be the wave of the future. Finally, OpenAI is doing so well lately, who knows what they might announce next? So I gave it the headline, OpenAI announces new type of language model, GPT Baby, just for babies. And this is the response it gave back to me. OpenAI, the nonprofit artificial intelligence research company founded by Elon Musk and Sam Altman, today announced a new type of language model called GPT Baby. This model is designed to help babies learn to speak as quickly as possible. The name stands for Generative Pre-Training Bayesian Embedding Engine. We've been working on this project for several years, said OpenAI researcher Dr. Leslie Smith. We started with an LSTM RNN that was pre-trained on ImageNet, and then we added a Bayesian decoder based on work from our colleagues at Stanford. At first, it didn't seem like it was going to work, said Dr. Smith. But then we realized that if we used a Gaussian prior instead of a Laplace prior, the results were much better. OpenAI plans to release GPT Baby as open source software in early 2021. In addition to helping babies learn to speak, they hope that the model will also be useful for training other types of neural networks for natural language processing tasks, such as question answering and machine translation. 
Overall, I was very impressed by GPT-3's ability to generate press releases with only a single training example. The model clearly demonstrated a rich understanding of various topics and was able to write the press releases with excellent tone, storytelling, and professionalism. There were some logical inconsistencies which could be edited, but nothing too off base. I've already shown this demo to real people who work in public relations, and they were blown away at the model's ability to write press releases on their behalf. In fact, many indicated they were comfortable after some minor tweaks even putting these articles out for actual commercial distribution. This may demonstrate GPT-3 has crossed a significant line when it comes to commercial press release generation performance. I would wager these press releases are approaching becoming indistinguishable from human ones. This is my favorite use case, and I encourage all of you to try it out for yourselves with GPT-3. I've included some links in the description below. That's all for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so that I know you learned something or were at least entertained today. Thanks for watching.